how how are people with bipolar disorder more creative what's the neuropsychological basis for that and maybe sherry you could just reflect on how far off or how close we are to understanding some of the precise mechanisms underpinning this relationship yeah. So uh, for years, I thought we'd find a silver bullet me mechanism. And then when we did our kind of um, focus groups, I realized there's not going to be one mechanism. Some people are doing it for self-expression, for soothing, because they have life experiences to write about. And then for others, there may even be a personality or neurocognitive piece to this. Um, we've worked really hard on the idea that one of the things that comes along with bipolar disorder genes is a willingness to work hard um and persevere when there's not like a big giant reward at the other end people with bipolar disorder across a lot of studies will work harder and be more ambitious even if it's not clear that there's some huge payoff and we can see that in personality and behavioral scales i don't think it's the whole story but i think it's part of what what's in there hmm. that's that's uh i hadn't heard that before and it actually is quite moving to hear that because i've always felt that but I didn't uh, know that that was actually in the, the science. And I, I don't know, sir, is there anything about in terms of that ability to sort of um, uh, malleable, I don't know if it's malleability, but the fact that because it's a mood disorder and we're going into these depths and things like that, does that have anything to do with the ability to express ourselves at all or be willing to go into yeah. outside our comfort zone? I, I do think that there's probably something about these experiences that can promote a certain kind of flexibility or fluidity or adaptability. Yeah. Um, um, but I don't know how to capture it in the science. No, no. And I think it's care we have to be careful because it's not about those mood states that create the creativity. But I'm thinking that it's the it's that flexibility that can allow, it's like for me to be able to write about a, a character that's going into a, a certain emotional state. Um, I think a lot of actors or anybody, you know, you have that expression, it's like going into the unknown for a while and being willing to sort of be an explorer. Oh yeah, no, the exploring thing is fascinating. So um, we are doing research on, okay, let's say you have one good thing in hand will you go out and forage for more and explore just because it's fascinating to see what's out there or will you persevere and only stick to well I know this one thing we have a little bit of evidence um, and Aaron is part of this that people with bipolar disorder are more they're more explorers even with some safe reward in their hand they're like well what else is out there <laughs> Yeah, and we have a paper that's um, in the sort of publication process, we hope, right now. So we'll really look forward to sharing the results of that when it's uh, cooked and ready to go. 